Hi, welcome back. So today I'm going to discuss about how to upload file to AWS S3. So normally people will do like this. So the device will call an API and API gateway and the API gateway will trigger a lambda function in which the lambda function will upload the file to S3. The lambda the payload of lambda function is limited to six megabytes only. So any file that are larger than this will be written an error. So people try to avoid lambda function by you uh, by setting up API which act as uh, an S3 proxy in which you upload the file directly to S3. However, it's is also subject to 10 megabyte limitation. So now I'm going to teach you another way in which you use AWS Signature to upload the file from the device directly to S3. So by using AWS Signature, it allows us to upload our content to S3 by using our browser. In this case, it is using HTTP Postgres, so it's not only limited to the browser action. So I'm going to demonstrate you on how to use this method in mobile education. So the attribute that are needed in our post request is are as follow. So there are two attributes that are required, which is key and file. Key is the name is the file name and then we are going to add another attribute is SDO so that we can download it and build the file later. So there are some other attributes for authenticated requests but in this case we will not show it. So I've created a bucket uh, in which is public access uh, for easier to demonstrate. So now this is our application in which you will select a file and upload it to this bucket. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate uh, implement the upload function. So to upload anything, you should have a URL destination URL to upload the file. So the format of URL are as follow. So we shall replace the region name and the bucket name. So now we should construct our request. So in browser, if you want to upload a file, it's using multi-part request. So same goes to here. So in this case, this is a post function, and then we should pass our URL to URI. So now we're going to add a file. So the few name that we should put is key uh, is file because it's the actual file itself and then we add the file path but because it's future so we should create it and then now we should add other attributes. So just now I mentioned that we should add a key which is the file name. So we extract the file name from the path. And then we should also add the ACL uh, make so that we can make the file as public readable. So that we can check our file letter. 
for now we send our request the repeat when we send we print something so that we can okay here it goes okay now we select a form So these are the image that we selected and then we upload it. Upload. Okay, the request is sent. So now let's check our bucket. So this is the file that we upload just now. Now we download it. And delete. So this is the file that we uploaded just now and then the documentation I will put in the description, you know. Okay, hope you learned something. Thank you.